Good evening and thanks indeed for joining us in this edition of the Primetime Newscast on ETV. Another macabre discovery has been reported in Mimbo Mani locality in the central region of the country. This time around a young boy was discovered dead and it is alleged that he was sexually abused. And also in this newscast business experts say that French interest in Cameroon is facing serious threat from Chinese investors. This as head of state Paul Bia accompanied by a powerful delegation make their way to France. These are major headlines. Details and more just in a moment. Good evening, viewers. We, thanks, we thank you so much for joining us tonight in this edition of the Primetime Newscast on ETV. We begin right away here in the economic capital, Douala, where some temporary workers have come to today besiege the company's headquarters at the economic capital, Douala, demanding the temporary payment of their dues. The disgruntled ex-employees say that they are not putting a stop to their protest demonstration until their demands are met. Anna Bila tells us more in the following report. These are the former temporary workers of the Cameroon Telecommunications Camtel. They have been brandishing placards here at the company's head office in Bepana Omnispoor, demanding the payments of their rights. They just say that they want to reduce effective, and we were just removed. There are people here that have worked for over 10 years. The disgruntled ex-workers decry persistent postponement of their payment by Camtel authorities, causing them to suffer in pains with their families. They asked us to go to the inspector of work so that they can they calculate our rights. We went there, they calculated. Camtel came and confirmed. They said that they are going to pay us after two months. Two months now have become more than three years. It's getting to three years that they have not yet paid. Was still the complaint of discrimination saying that some other ex-employees have already been paid off. Some people were paid, we don't even know what criteria they were using to pay others. So we have been waiting, we come, they will ask us to go, come, they will ask us to go, come. So it has taken a long time, so we have decided to come today that if they don't pay us, we are not leaving this place. These discontented ex-temporary cartel workers are poised to continue protesting until their dues are paid. At press time, cartel officials were still to make any pronouncement on the demand of these ex-workers. Now circulation along the Douala Yaoundé Highway is now fluid after a road accident that occurred or claimed the lives of at least two persons that was over the weekend. Witnesses said a tanker suffered a collision with a other truck belonging to the Rapid Intervention Battalion. The tanker had left the Yaoundé or the capital city Yaoundé was en route for Idea uh, while rescuers were still searching for the actual cause of the accident. Another Toyota vehicle which left idea for the littoral region or for Douala ran into the already crushed vehicles two persons including an element of the bee died on the spot and at least five or six persons in all the vehicles sustained severe injuries and were rushed to the idea regional hospital for treatment we take you now to the west region of the country, precisely in Palem, where it is a community said to be lacking in academics, and a new phone or the newly enthroned phone has called on the people of the village to invest in that domain. They promise to build more schools as well as boost agriculture in that part of the country. He was addressing the population during his enthronement ceremony, as Ronibel Satawara reports. <laughs> The new phone of Baleng, a village in the Mifi division, has promised to integrate tradition and modernism as he ascends the throne. Aged 37 and holder of a doctorate degree in mining, His Royal Majesty Nigotela Guillaume said his wish is to see the people of Baleng free from every act of barbarism. He called on notables to invest in education by sending their children to school and not in buying chieftaincy titles. The new phone and diplomat underscored the need for more efforts in farming. He said Balen could be transformed into an industrial agricultural zone because of its fertile soils. The elite as well as the locals of Balen expressed satisfaction, hope and relief at the coming of the new phone and his visions for the people. So the school his speech really impressed me. It was affirmative and programmatic. 
A young man who spoke in the interest of everybody, young and old alike. He was wise enough to bring himself so close to the people. What humility. He was going towards the people. Quelle humilité. Nous sommes très émus. À l'écouter, on dit nous allons procéder au message de Santa. Local administrative authorities and political figures present at the enthronement cautioned the new phone not to allow some administrative or political actors influence his ruling. Now, head of state Paul Bia with a powerful delegation are en route to France, and one of the main issues on the agenda is a business and occasion for Yaoundé based correspondent in uh, correspondent Yaoundé to know from a Chinese expert in business affairs whether French business in Cameroon is being threatened due to the presence of Chinese investors. So, Roland Akon talked to the Chinese expert and compiled the following report. President Bia will be discussing business with French business persons in a forum during his five-day visit in France. Uh, those kind of forums will be multiplied uh, to prevent uh, that uh, China must not take all because of the presence of China in Africa. France and Cameroon share long business ties, believed to be threatened now by the overwhelming presence of Chinese businesses in Cameroon. Atiba Eyene is a Sino expert. He explains how French businesses in Cameroon are threatened due to the heavy presence of Chinese businesses. French people, even Americans, are, are not, uh, are not uh, happy, are not uh, serene, because the things that they used to have freely by imposing their, their their prices are today negotiated with for example another partner who is china many giant projects in cameroon are financed by the chinese possibly to the annoyance of the french be it the french or the chinese cameroonians are urged to protect their interest with whosoever they are doing business. The problem with cooperation is that don't, don't sleep because any cooperation means interest. The Chinese are now coming to, to serve us. They are coming to do business. And in business, you have to be aware. Thanks in the Roland account for the report. Now, another Makaba discovery will remain in the capital city, Yaoundé, where another Makaba discovery has been made in the Mimboma neighborhood uh, that was over the weekend. A 10-year-old boy was found dead along the banks of the stream with parts of his body allegedly mutilated and preliminary investigations revealed that the boy was sexually abused before he was killed. And this incident is coming after a series of killings have been reported in a that neighborhood under unclear circumstances and we hear the creation of a new police post in that part of the country. Now still in the capital city under the new interim commander of the presidential guard has been commissioned into office appointed Friday by the presidential decree. Raymond uh, Charles Abondo was uh, commissioned by the Secretary General at the presidency of the Republic Ferdinand Congo. That was today in the capital city only. And before we go sports football, second playing day of matches of Group B at the ongoing African Cup of Nations continue today and Niger will be taking on Ghana and the Democratic Republic of Congo would play against Mali. Both teams or both encounters will take place at exactly 6 p.m. today and Ghana is by now leading the group with four points. Mali is second on the list with three points and the Democratic Republic of Congo two points and Niger one point. Now Cape Verde and South Africa have already qualified for the quarterfinals and viewers that does it for this edition of the Primetime Newscast on ETV. We thank you so much for your keen attention. Meantime, have a wonderful stay in the company of our programs. Good evening.